Hello everyone, you're on to Howdy Options with Maureen once again. Today we'll continue with the series we started last week, the Launch Box Treats. Today we have for you the Dates and Coconut Balls. The good thing about these balls is that although it's sweet, it's packed with nutrients. You have the presence of the coconut in it that provides some rich antioxidants in your snack. Just like having a healthy chocolate bar, of course, in the round form. Come with me as we make this. I know for sure you will like this. This is a must try recipe. It's very easy. It needs no cooking. Just some assembling and boom, you have some treats to go. Please, if you do like this video, I'd like for you to subscribe by clicking on the red button at the end of the video. Give us a thumbs up and share as well. Thanks. So for our date coconut balls, we'll be needing some toasted coconut. I this and I added a little bit of honey and a little bit of butter and I was able to toast it in the oven for just a few minutes. I let it cool down then you can actually reduce this into smaller bits as you can see using a food processor or a food meal. Just roughly chopped. We have some dates of course. We have some honey. The honey is totally optional. You can make do without it. If you're not such a sweet tooth, then, then you can make do without the honey. We have some cocoa powder and we have some coconut cream. So the first thing we will do is to chop up our dates. I will come back and show you what next to do as we proceed from there. So as you can see, I just finished chopping up the dates. I made sure I chopped it into very tiny bits as you can see. So the next thing that will be going in now is the coconut cream. coconut cream goes in the coconuts go in the cocoa powder itself goes in the honey goes in as well I don't want it too sweet so that's just about the amount I need so I'm going to blend in with my hand I got the coconut cream from the fridge. That's an important part. It's best you chill your coconut cream before proceeding with this recipe. Because you don't want it all in a gooey shape or a gooey form. So you blend together. That should be very easy, but very enjoyable as well. So as you can see once more, we have everything in one big ball. So what we are going to do is we are going to shape into little balls and we'll wrap in a wax paper and it can serve as a beautiful lunchbox treat for any child or even an adult for that matter. So I'm going to roll this into, into balls and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So as you can see, I'm already beginning to roll the balls. What I do is I just take a little piece and I roll it in between my palms it's just pretty easy and you can see it's a very manageable dough and I place in here and I'm going to continue till I'm done with what we have the mixture is actually pretty manageable the good thing about these balls is that it's filled with fats that are actually really good for you and of course with fiber you can see my the palms of my hand that comes from the coconut and a little bit of the coconut cream so this is actually very rich the coconut you need to make it white crunchy it, it's actually in between a candy and granola because it's soft and chewy and at the same time because of the coconut present in it it's crunchy so it's actually a very interesting treat bring it together then we roll into both. I'm going to continue and I'll come back and show you what it looks like by the time I'm done. You have to take note that this has to stay refrigerated because of the presence of the coconut milk in it. So once I don't, I'm done, I usually keep it refrigerated. Of course it can stay outside the fridge for a few hours as well. So you don't have to worry whenever it goes into the launch bag 
to still stay nice and fresh whenever it's ready to be eaten but if you need to keep it for days it has to go in the refrigerator so as you can see i started rolling up some i actually always prefer to roll these little treats in candy form like this because they are very handy you can just pick it up and you're off your way so i actually prefer to roll it and it's actually easy to pack with the kids lunch pack as well so as you can see just as i did in my previous video i just place one in a wax paper and i roll up like this it's actually a no-brainer and i try to twist one end just the way you do with a candy wrap and you twist the other end as well so i'm just going to continue and when i'm done i'm gonna have a treat myself before i deserve this so that's what we have here the baked coconut balls these are the ones that are not wrapped and these are the wrapped ones i hope you give this a try and let us know what your take is on it this is a must try recipe it's super good thank you